My name is Eunice Feathers. Marco McCall. Shaprice Martinez. Angela Coleman. Danielle Kato. Nikki Dove. Tina Hong. Akeisha Parker Dalton. We are the walk-in center. We have a triage where we help with basic resources. Um, we do case management. Um, I support in a lot of areas with COVID testing, COVID vaccination, and we also have a new program, which is the rental assistance program. That program is meant to be low barrier. So the people who aren't able to get rental assistance through Season of Sharing or Catholic Charities, we take them on as a Glide client. And we have a housing readiness workshop that my entire staff created in about 2019. So right before the pandemic and we were about to introduce that workshop to our clients and COVID. Now during COVID, um, we no longer have shelter reservation access or access to shelters at all. I still do housing searches looking for uh, affordable options for folks that so happen to pop in at our triage table and say, hey, do you have any uh, housing solutions or do you guys have access to housing or can you help me with housing? Right now, we're not able to get people into shelters. But I'm glad that God has a pilot program for rental assistance because there's a lot of people that do work that fall behind that don't qualify for certain programs. And a lot of programs they don't have for single adults or single working adults that just so happen to fell off, you know, or they lost their job and they didn't make enough money to cover rent that month, but they got a new job and, you know, they're just behind. So um, I'm kind of glad that Glide has that program now. So we cater to mostly everybody. And now we're handing out money to people that don't qualify for a season of sharing or Catholic charities. For our pilot program, we thought about having a workshop for people to just get some info, uh, lead them in the right direction, or even how to take care of a house, you know, or apartment, or everyday life. So it started off like that. We figured like, oh, well, Glass not going to open the building anytime soon. So how could else we incorporate that? It's a lot of fun because we do a workshop and they have to come to the workshop in order to qualify for it. And all of us have a part. Without those programs, people wouldn't be able to pay for their housing. Because a lot of people call and they ask for all sorts of things. And if you could help them, we help them. Whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. Oh my God, Gly, I love Gly. <laughs> uh, that is uh, like unforgettable and fascinated. Um, only able to gain invaluable experience. I'm also able to give back to my community. So every day I come to work, it makes me better. Because this platform provides me to meet a lot of different kind of people, different kind of beautiful people out there, or our, our, you know, our Kali, out there client, yeah. One of my favorite parts of the job, oh, this is the best part, being able to find that something that we didn't think that we had that someone absolutely needed. And then it's like the voila, I got it. Those are great moments. We've worked this whole pandemic. You know, a lot of us have struggled with our clients through this pandemic because the simple fact is that they literally had nowhere to go when this pandemic first started. We have been essential in this community with the limited and the only resource that most of these people have in the Tenderloin. And that's what I want people to understand. You know, we work hard for our clients. We work hard for our clients. It's just something that we're passionate about. And that's really what I want people to know and people to see, you know, that at the end of the day, when things were at its worst, we were still there for our clients. Since the pandemic started and after the pandemic started.